over concerning a stranger that is not of thy people Israel, but cometh out of a far country for thy name's sake. For they shall hear of thy great name, and of thy strong hand, and of thy stretched out arm, when he shall come and pray toward this house, hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and do according to all that the stranger calleth to thee for, that all people of the earth may know thy name, to fear thee, as do thy people Israel, and that they may know that this house which I have builded is called by thy name. Without a relationship with the Most High, you will not know where you're going and how the Most High will use you to further his purpose in the physical realm. The strangers the Most High reserved for himself are few in numbers. These individuals are not afraid to speak against their nations and their people. They are not afraid to cry out against the injustice taking place all around us. The strangers who speak up against their own are oppressed and censored as well. Due to the censorship in the protected class owning the mainstream media and they control what you see, you will not come across the sincere strangers. The mainstream media will saturate the news, social media, and other places where the people gather with propaganda news to mold your mind and to shape your perception. One of the many reasons the heathens fear black people, the mainstream media saturate the news with crimes committed by the indigenous people. If all you see in the media is a black person committing crimes, it is going to plant a seed in the minds of the people. When the heathens observe an indigenous person in public, they will automatically assume they are up to no good. The people who watch the diabolical news stations owned by the protected class allow the spirit of fear to traumatize them. They submit and forge covenants with the spirit of fear. The result is what you see happening today. The news outlets owned by the protected class is not censored. They have the right to push whatever agenda Satan put into their minds. The moment the people expose the protected class diabolical behavior and bring up their history, they create laws to support their point of view since they are the protected class and proclaim hate speech and racism if anyone else have a different opinion. Israelites, this is why you do not see the sincere strangers who are serving the most high in the spirit and in the truth. The media will show you the wicked who serve their idol God in their religion. These people are not the strangers, but the wicked taking on the identity of the strangers to deceive you. Remember, the scriptures inform us that Satan's ministers transform themselves into ministers of righteousness. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Because many people are waking up and is refusing to accept the popular mainstream media point of views, the protected class have to censor the opposition to get the sheep under control. If they can keep us distracted by fighting, the kingdom of darkness continue to rule. It is important, Israelites, that you examine the people who profess to love the Most High. It is one thing to say you know the Elohim of Israel, but another story to serve him in the spirit and in the truth. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. The true worshipers of the Most High will worship him in the spirit and in the truth. Religion did not teach the people the truth. If religion taught the people the truth, there would be no need for an awakening. Everyone will live by the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. Instead, the people live by the laws of men and the kingdom of darkness. Many strangers and Israelite know of the Most High, but they do not know him personally. Their views of the Most High are from the lessons the synagogue of Satan taught them, a half-truth, and we all know a half-truth is a complete lie. Religion informed the people that the Elohim of Israel is supreme and there is none greater than he. Religion did not disclose to the people that the God they serve in organized religion is not the Elohim of Israel, but Satan in disguise. This is why most people know of the Most High, but they do not know him. Yahshua said many would come and say, I did this and that in your name. Yahshua said he would respond with, depart from me, I never knew you. 
Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. The scriptures are being fulfilled and revealing important information we should pay attention to. When the scriptures say, have an ear to hear and eyes to see, the scriptures are not referring to your physical ears, but your spiritual ears. The Most High just revealed to us that many will say they are on his team, but are not. In addition, the Most High do not know them. It is important, Israelites, to know who those people are. In addition, how to differentiate the pure in heart from the dying population of the wicked. Many worshipers of the Most High are missing the truth part in worshiping in the spirit and in truth. An important detail I want to express that many people look past. The strangers are not only the pale skinned people. Many Israelites automatically believe the strangers are the pale heathens. That is incorrect. There are indigenous heathens and they look like you and me. Remember, Yah's original creation that he made in his image is dark. The wicked, the heathens, and the strangers come in different shades. The reason there is people with different shades, the serpent seed planted its seed while the indigenous population slept, infiltrate Yah's creation, and went his way. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. Keep in mind that some of the strangers are dark and they look like you, Israelites. Another important piece of information I want to express and is closely related to this lesson. It takes four generations for a person to become a full-blooded serpent seed. It takes four generations to reverse the infiltration to become indigenous again. I have seen many people argue that many of the Israelites in the diaspora are mixed due to rape. The first thing I would like to address is either you are indigenous or of the serpent seed. Race is a concept that was invented by the kingdom of darkness. Therefore, nobody is mixed. The generation of indigenous people that was raped and produced a serpent seed offspring can choose to continue to spoil their seed by reproducing with the hybrid and increase the population of the serpent seed. Alternatively, the offspring of the rape victim can procreate with an indigenous person and cleanse their bloodline by the fourth generation. How many generations has it been since your great, great, great grandmother or father was raped by the slave master and his wife? Israelites and strangers, it is important to serve the Most High in truth. You cannot say you are serving the Most High in the spirit and in truth and live by the standards of this world. Satan is the God of this world. The wisdom of this world is foolishness in the sight of Yah. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. You cannot use the wisdom gained from the kingdom of darkness to justify what is happening in this world. It is important to have the Holy Spirit to guide you and to decode what is happening in the physical realm. Human wisdom brings confusion. You cannot use the carnal mind to decode the spiritual. You cannot use the carnal mind to expose the kingdom of darkness. Remember, Satan cannot cast out Satan. You cannot use the carnal mind to explain or to decode the worldwide deception created by Satan. The scripture said it is the Holy Spirit that revealed truth to us and tell us the things to come. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. The Most High knew beforehand that the serpent seed would infiltrate his creation. That is why he prophesied about this from the beginning. The Most High has a plan to preserve his creation. The Most High is not surprised that the kingdom of darkness infiltrate his creation. The Most High is not a man that he do not know how to maintain his creation. Stop giving the kingdom of darkness power. Do not believe there is no pure indigenous people around. That is false doctrine. I am indigenous and I stand firm by my convictions. I do not need the heathens acknowledgement to confirm my identity. Why would I believe the words of my oppressors and those who have rewritten history to include themselves? I choose to believe the greater power working in me, the Holy Spirit given to me by my father, the Elohim of Israel. The serpent blood is not welcome here. Israelites, 
Stop relying on the synagogue of Satan to tell you who you are and to educate you about the world the Most High created for his creation. Because the Most High formed you out of the dirt of the ground, you should be one with the earth and the Most High. The kingdom of darkness is working overtime to destroy the bond. You have to make a decision to allow the Most High to disciple you or the kingdom of darkness. Stop letting emotions control the way you eternalize wisdom. Just because what you have heard does not make you feel good, do not indicate the information given is inaccurate. Alternatively, just because the information made you feel good, it does not conclude the wisdom was the truth. You cannot rely on emotions to make decisions. Emotions are unstable. The scriptures refer to a person who cannot control their emotion as being double-minded. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Discipleship is important. If you place your salvation in the hands of men, you will be lost. The scripture said to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Israelites, the strangers are looking to you to teach them the ways of the Most High. It is important that you lead the strangers under proper leadership. You do not need to tell the strangers they are Israelites for them to follow the Most High. If you believe you are the one waking up the strangers and the Israelites, you are in error. In addition, you are in great danger. You place yourself in a position to be judged by the Most High. You have exalted yourself just as Satan have done and transformed yourself into an idol. An idol can be anything you put in first place or rely on to help you or lead you. We all know Yah do not play with his glory. Yah will not share his glory with another. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. It is the Most High who wake whom he choose out of their slumber. It is the Most High that do all the work. As an Israelite, you are the chosen vessel that is being used under the power of the Holy Spirit to manifest Yah's will in the physical realm. In other words, Yah is working through you to save his people. You are not the one saving the people. Yah is a spirit. The Most High requires a spirit to have flesh to operate in the physical realm. The Most High seeks those he can show himself strong through to use to save his people. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly. Therefore, from henceforth, thou shalt have wars. Just as the Most High worked through Moses and the other prophets to save his people, it was the Most High who put his words in Aaron's mouth and teach him what to say and reveal to Moses and Aaron what to do. And the Lord said unto him, who hath made man's mouth, or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. And he said, O my Lord, send, I pray thee, by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well. And also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. And when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. And thou shalt speak unto him, and put words in his mouth. And I will be with thy mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you what ye shall do. Israelites, you are not the one waking up the strangers, your family and other Israelites. Once the Most High wake up a stranger or anyone, Yah will send that person to an ordained servant to help him or her on their journey. If the Most High did not humble you and choose you to do His will, you would be satisfying your flesh. I have expressed on multiple videos that I had other plans for Open Diary. The Most High changed the direction of this channel. It is the Most High that gives me instructions for His channel. It is the Most High that tell me what to say through the Holy Spirit operating in me. I am not the one teaching you. The Most High is discipling those with a humble heart and with an ear to hear. The scripture said, Call no one teacher, for the Most High is your teacher. And greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. But be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. If the Holy Spirit was not dominant, you will see all types of chaos, false doctrines, and many questionable things that would make you wonder if the Most High is truly operating in me. 
The scripture said by their behavior, you would know if they are of the most high. If you take the time to examine Israelites and strangers who say they are serving the most high in the spirit and in the truth, the flesh is more dominant than the Holy Spirit. Most of these people are practicing religion and the kingdom of darkness is leading them. Those who are prideful are relying on their self-righteousness to get ahead. Yah is far from them. The Most High said, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Sin will separate you from the Most High. Pride was Satan's downfall. Many Israelites and strangers are prideful. Israelites, if you are deceiving the heathens into believing they are Israelites, you are no different from the pagan church. The Most High will judge you. You are held accountable for your every words. But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. The pagan church deceived the strangers into believing they are spiritual Israel. Why would you continue the deception by telling the strangers they are Israelites? Lying to the strangers is not discipleship, that is manipulation for personal gain. The sincere strangers know they are not Israelites and they do not claim to be Israelites. Remember, the heathens know who we are. It is us that is finding out about our history and identity. The heathens never lost their identity. The protected class know their ancestors and origin. If a heathen act as if they do not know their history, they are choosing to ignore their past. I am sure their parents did not only pass on generational wealth, but their family history as well. The heathens were not uprooted from the land of their fathers and scattered all over the world. Majority of indigenous heathens dwell in the land of their fathers. They can tell you what had taken place in their family's bloodline. The Israelites in the diaspora, the descendants of slaves, only know their history as far back as slavery. Most Israelites do not know what caused their ancestors to go into captivity. In addition, what part of Africa they originate. We were led to believe by the serpent seed that our origin is from sub-Saharan Africa only, which is false. Discipleship is important. Israelites, any stranger that wants to know about the Elohim of Israel, make sure you reveal the truth. Do not pass on doctrines the Most High did not confirm to you. Do not promote the false 12 tribe chart. You are what your father is and many other Hebrew Israelite religion doctrines. The Israelites behind those false doctrines are spreading lies for personal gain. The kingdom of darkness is using them to bring confusion and dysfunction. I believe most of them are heathens disguised as Israelites. Do not follow the Pharisees hypocrites. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. It is the Most High doing the work through his humble servants. Some Israelites refuse to accept the message simply because they cannot look past what's in front of them. Yah is behind the scene. Your body is the temple that house his spirit. The Holy Spirit is speaking through the person the Most High chose to do his will. The person standing in front of you or speaking is a vessel being used. It takes spiritual maturity to understand this concept. Without the Holy Spirit, many will form their own conclusions. The Israelites who love to quote 1 Timothy 2 and 12 to the daughters of Zion need to mature spiritually. If they could look past the daughter of Zion, they would see the Holy Spirit and the Most High standing with her. For we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Memorizing the scriptures is great, but without Yah's spirit, you are lost. You do not have the proper understanding of the scriptures. Memorizing the scriptures do not qualify you to teach either. The Holy Spirit draw a person to the Most High. The Holy Spirit reveal truth. The Holy Spirit is teaching the Israelites and strangers who serve the Most High in the spirit and in the truth. Israelites, make sure you are setting a good example for those who are still in their spiritual slumber and the strangers watching. They will imitate what they see. Make sure you are producing good fruits. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, 
and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper.